And when Christians simply realize that their call is to preach the gospel to every creature, just keep preaching the gospel. You don't have to know what they're planning, what they're conspiring, what they're going to do. Just keep preaching the gospel in the long term. It can upend the kingdom. It can reverse an empire. It can change the world. I say all this because the Christians that we're reading about, the Christians that were addressed by the Apostle Paul were living in this way. The Thessalonians were living with an eye to the Lord. They were being persecuted. They were being afflicted. They were suffering horrendously. But it appears by the writings of the first and second epistle written by Paul that they had not lost focus. They were continuing to do what the Apostle had called them to do, keep preaching the gospel. And so they did. And God blessed them. God blessed them. Oh, I don't know if they were living today whether we would know their opinion on whether we should trust the government or not. I don't know if they would broadcast their opinion whether or not we should be able to trust our doctors or not, or whether we should wear masks or not. I don't know if we would know their opinion on this. I wonder if they were so blinkered onto the gospel that the only thing that mattered is, look, because these are all things. These are all things. They're all details. They're all pieces of information. They're all perspectives and views. And we can, we can get so caught up. And this is the thing. Did you hear this? Or we, we've learned this? Or this study says this? And you have all these little details, all these new pieces of information. And, and then if we were to analyze the way we're talking right now, it's like all this stuff. And then maybe when we talk to someone who's not saved, we'll kind of slip in the gospel a little bit, just a moment. By the way, I'm a Christian, and uh, <laughs> we present the gospel maybe. But there's all this stuff that's clouding it out. There's all this other conversation that's going on, and, and we as Christians are so easily drawn in to, to feed into the same conversation. But here's the thing. The Christian, the Christian knows that I can afford to be wrong on everything. But if I have the gospel right, that's all that matters. I don't know if I can interpret all these studies or whether I can be misled on all that's going on or whether the, the government really has my best interests at heart or whether I can truly trust doctors in the day in which we live given the track record historically. I don't know. I don't know, but I know this. I know this. The Son of God lived, died, and rose again and those who ask Him, those who call upon Him, those that seek Him will be saved, and their sins will be forgiven. And I know that. I may not know all the other details and how it's all going to pan out, but I know that. And that's why the confidence of the Christian, our communication should be built upon what we're confident about, what we absolutely know as a fact, and let that emanate from our lives. I think, I think, if I could just pull this church, this little church out and place it into the 21st century, they'd kind of be saying, so what? About all the stuff we're talking about, so what? So what? Let's, let's just get on with the business. Souls are perishing. They're dying without Christ. We have the message of life. Let's just get it out there. And that's in part the only thing I've been concerned about is to whatever degree we can, whatever degree we can, just keep this going. Just keep the, it's the worship of God, the the, the feeding of the flock and, and the other aspects to whatever degree we can, just keep going on in the simple business of the ministry given to our charge. Whatever way we can. Yes, we've been limited over the past year, greatly restricted in some areas, but yet there's still the message going out, there are things that can be done, and this is my focus, just trying to put myself, okay, Thessalonians, you're living in the 21st century, what's your focus? That's preaching Christ. Now, this sounds maybe naive, simplistic, but I don't want us to be dismissive of what it was that was upending the world in this first century, because it was this concentrated focus on the one message that mattered 